This video includes a paid sponsorship from Delete Me, but more on that later. In the near future, your Tesla may be able to recognize who you are and adjust various settings like seat position, climate control, audio settings, and more based on your preset preferences. This system should also be able to go a step further and detect when a driver has a medical emergency and either contact proper authorities or potentially even autonomously drive to the hospital. Follow along with me as I discuss this new exciting tech that Tesla is developing. I'm John, and this is CleanerWatt. As you likely know, Tesla's current line of vehicles include cabin cameras, and these cabin cameras are used to make sure that the driver is paying attention to the road while autopilot is engaged. But it appears like Tesla could soon use this cabin camera for much more. This Tesla patent application was recently published and describes using facial and spatial recognition technology to not only recognize who is driving the vehicle and adjust the settings to match that driver's preference, but also to automatically adjust other vehicle settings that may be affected by those preferences. And this system will account for, quote, different physical body sizes or shapes, end quote, and adjust, for example, HVAC airflow direction and audio settings to best suit the driver, taking driver profiles to a whole new level. Now, before I dive into the specifics of this new technology, if facial recognition technology bothers you, the Tesla Model 3 owner's manual makes it very clear right now that Tesla is not currently performing facial recognition via the cabin camera. In addition, in the future, if Tesla does switch over to start using facial recognition technology with the cabin camera, as is described in this patent application, they will no doubt have really tight security on this information, similar to the tight security and the policy they have in place when it comes to how they handle videos and images from their current cabin camera and other cameras built into the vehicle. For example, in the Model 3 owner's manual, it's written, quote, by default, images and video from the camera do not leave the vehicle itself and are not transmitted to anyone, including Tesla, unless you enable data sharing. If you enable data sharing and a safety critical event occurs, such as a collision, Model 3 shares short cabin camera video clips with Tesla to help us develop future safety enhancements and continuously improve the intelligence of features that rely on the cabin camera. Data may also be shared if diagnostics are required on cabin camera functionality. Cabin camera does not perform facial recognition or any other method of identity verification. To protect your privacy, cabin camera data is not associated with your vehicle identification number. So once again, very likely if Tesla does roll out such a facial recognition technology, they will give the driver the control of this and allow them to probably by default have that turned off and turn that on if they wanna make use of these features. With that being said, on the topic of data safety and privacy, this portion of today's video is sponsored by Delete Me. Did you know that your personal data is very likely being sold online by data brokers? This personal data can be used by businesses, scammers, or even stalkers. I don't know about you, but I'm not okay with my personal information being accessed without my permission. So when I learned about Delete Me's service, I was happy to say yes to them sponsoring this video, and now I am using their service to keep my information private. In fact, I just received my first report back and Delete Me found 68 data brokers with my personal info and they automatically initiated the removal process of my personal data from these brokers' systems. Delete Me is a subscription service that will remove your personal information that's being sold online. When you subscribe and fill out your profile, their experts will remove your personal data like phone numbers, addresses, or even information about your family members from hundreds of data brokers all year long and will even monitor sites and repeat removal as needed. Sign up for Delete Me to protect your personal data and if you use the link in the video description which is joindeleteme.com forward slash watt20 or use the coupon code watt20, you can save 20% off your first one or two year subscription purchase. Okay, going back to the new technology that's described in this Tesla patent application, it appears like face detection would initiate once the vehicle's door is open and would be able to identify based on a preset profile who is driving that vehicle. 
Based on who is driving the vehicle, various preferences could be automatically set, like for example, the position of the driver's seat and the vehicle mirrors, heating and cooling preferences, or driving mode preferences. However, beyond recognizing who's driving the vehicle and setting basic presets that were determined beforehand, Tesla's system is going to apparently be much smarter than that, and it should be able to adjust various settings like the audio settings and the HVAC settings based on the body shape and size of who's driving the vehicle and also the position of the seat to maximize the way the HVAC air is flowing and also the immersive sound of the audio system. Beyond driver comfort though, this technology could also lead to more efficient use of energy by directing, for example, HVAC vents only where needed. This would likely take into account number of passengers, their location, and in addition, the system could also be equipped with a thermal sensor that would be able to direct, for example, cool air in the direction where detected hotspots are in the vehicle. I don't know of any other vehicle that has any technology like this that can actually detect hotspots in the vehicle and direct air to cool those hotspots. Not only would that increase the comfort because there'd be a more even temperature in the cabin, but once again, that could help conserve energy so you're not just blasting cold air where it's already cold. Now, when this technology is in place, not only will a vehicle be able to recognize you, but this patent application also describes the car greeting you when you get into the vehicle. For example, if your name was Frederick, the system could say something like, hello, Frederick, when you got into the vehicle, and then also adjust the various preferences that I previously discussed. This technology will also apparently allow for the car to know how long it's been since you've driven the vehicle, and if it's been a while since you've driven the vehicle, this basic greeting would change to, for example, if your name was Nick, hello, Nick, good to see you after a long time. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about how this technology applies to the vehicle's HVAC systems, because in this patent application, an auto tracking feature is described. Apparently, the system will be able to adjust HVAC airflow to match the position of the vehicle occupants in real time or near real time. For example, if the driver wanted warm air blowing directly on them on a cold day and they shifted around a bit in their seat and changed their body angle, as I understand it, such a system would be able to detect and follow the driver's movements and direct airflow toward them. Apparently, this auto tracking technology could also apply to the car's audio system and the audio system could be tuned specifically based on the occupant's position in the vehicle so you really get the best sound out of the audio system. So far, the uses of this technology that I've discussed so far could be categorized in the nice to have section. They do improve um, the comfort of the passengers, but it's not like you absolutely need these features. But this next use of this technology is extremely important and could actually save lives. Using this technology, the car should be able to detect when a driver has a medical emergency and either notify the proper emergency personnel or in the future, the car may even be able to autonomously drive to a medical facility. When it comes to how this would work, apparently the car will be able to detect when a driver's state deviates from their normal state. This I assume would include, for example, a driver passing out, falling asleep while driving, etc. And based on what is described here, will also apply when a crash is detected. When such a state is detected, the car would send an audible alert like, are you okay? Or shall I alert emergency services? And if the driver doesn't respond, then a health emergency alert would be sent to the proper medical emergency center. Beyond just sending out a medical alert, which is a great feature, in the future, when Tesla's vehicles have regulators approval to drive autonomously on roads, the vehicle will apparently be able to drive itself if certain conditions are in place directly to a medical facility in the event of a medical emergency. For example, in this patent application, it's described that when the emergency system is activated, the car will be able to send a self-diagnostic test start signal to an onboard diagnostics system to determine whether or not the car has been damaged in, for example, an accident and determine if the car is still able to drive. If the car is not able to be driven, the medical emergency alert is sent and the car remains parked. But if the car is able to be driven and the driver is unresponsive, the car would be able to drive itself directly to the hospital or medical center. 
Obviously, once again, this kind of autonomous feature will require regulator approval beyond just the level two classification of Tesla's current system that requires an attentive active driver to be in the driver's seat paying attention. But this could be a very exciting future feature that could save a lot of lives. With all that being said, there are quite a few possibilities with facial recognition technology that Tesla could implement in the future. And really what's described in this patent application, I believe is really just the start. I'd love to hear from you what you think about this technology. What do you think about this? Will it actually be in Tesla's future vehicles? And is this something that you would actually use? Or are you afraid of using facial recognition technology in your vehicle? Let me know in the comments section below. I also want to say once again, thank you to Delete Me for sponsoring this video. And remember to sign up for Delete Me to protect your personal data. And once again, if you use the link in the video description, which is joindeleteme.com forward slash watt 20, you can save 20% off your first one or two year subscription purchase. Thanks also to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.